Hello Lanterners, this is Mrs Words of here. It's my turn today to talk about the powerful words. Now, today's word is introverted. Introverted. I want you to take a little careful look at the picture and just think about what that might mean and what they might be happening in the picture. And I want you to pause the video for a moment. Great, so we've had some time to pause the video and think about our word today, which is introverted, with this person who is sitting in the corner. And you can see they're kind of curled up in a ball here. They've got two characters there standing by them and they're all curled up. So this word introverted is an adjective which actually means shy or reserved. So it's like someone who dreads going to parties and would rather hide in the corner. So you can see that. So I want you to be thinking about our word pairs and our synonyms for this word before we do our sentences and our actions, because I know my falcons love doing actions. So we'll try and think of an action and um, we're going to go and do our word pairs and synonyms now. So pause your, pause your video for a minute and think about what the synonyms and pairs might be for the word introverted. Now we're going to look at synonyms and word pairs of this word, introverted. Now, if we look at the words around this word, introverted, which we remember earlier meant shy or reserved, then we're going to make our pairs and our synonyms. And synonyms are those words which mean the same as this word, introverted. So, introverted child. Now that is a word pair, so I'm going to draw a line to it. Introverted artist. Now that is a word pair. Introverted reserved. Mm, that is a synonym of the word introverted. Introverted personality. That is a word pair. Introverted person. Now that is a word pair. Introverted inward looking. Now that is a synonym. Now I'm going to pause there and ask you to think about introverted character introverted guest and introverted shy. Right, let's have a look. So introverted character, will you write that is a pair. Introverted guest, now that is also a pair. What about this word shy? Introverted shy, now that is a synonym. So let's just look at our words. These are all pairs, so they could be used really nicely in sentences to make those sentences um, come alive. And these are synonyms that mean the same as our word introverted. Okay, so Lanterners, we've had our word pairs and our synonyms. We've um, still thinking about this word introverted, and I am going to put it into a sentence. Pavlova felt nauseous at the thought of going to the school disco as her introverted personality often prevented her from enjoying herself. Now finally, I'm going to do the action and my class always enjoys doing an action. Now if I was with the class at the moment, I'd be asking the class to be thinking about the action and I'm sure you've got some really, really super ideas. So I'm just going to really think about this image here which is of this ball in the corner and my action is a bit this. Because sometimes we feel a bit um, squirmy inside when we're thinking about um, putting ourselves into a position of going to a party or a disco or to a crowded room. And sometimes we feel a little bit shy about doing those things. So that is our action, introverted. So that's our powerful word for today. We're going to have another powerful word in a couple of days. So I look forward to seeing you then. And thanks to Miss Wyatt for the, um, she sent us over the pictures. So we've had to make a few today, especially the word pairs and the synonyms. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.